So in the new Google Classroom, there are different places where you put your materials. Uh, just a uh, review, the new Google Classroom in new classes has three tabs that are different than the Google Classroom configuration from last year. Uh, on the stream, it now only posts announcement. When you click the plus sign, you can create an announcement. And as before, you can select which classes that this announcement goes to. So you can do uh, one announcement into multiple classes. You can also select the students who will see this. Uh, and you just say, um, you just type your announcement. Uh, so like uh, before, you can attach anything onto your announcement. You can upload by dragging and dropping a file. You can access your Google Drive file so that you can attach something like uh, some details about your syllabus or, or what have you. You can also uh, attach a YouTube video directly or you can link to a website. And as before, you can schedule this to be appearing sometime in the future if you want. You can save it or you can just simply post it like this. And the newest announcements are put on top. Unlike the previous stream, you cannot move these announcements around, so they are pretty much stuck where you put them. Also notice that these are some assignments that I posted in the classwork section, which I'm going to show you next, that are automatically posted. And you cannot uh, disable that. So uh, I don't really recommend posting uh, announcements. I would say that the best thing to do would be to simply uh, stick to the classwork tab, which we now have over here. And uh, the great new addition, the new feature to this is you can create topics and group the assignments by topics. So I have a couple topics here, one about new hires, one about YAM. So if I create another topic, I can create a topic such as principles of art. And I can add that topic. Um, unlike the announcements in the stream, you can move these up or down. So I'm going to move this up a little bit um, just so that it's easier to see. Uh, and so now when I want to create a new assignment or a question that is related to the principles of art, I can just simply open up a new assignment. I can type some instructions. I typically recommend opening a new Google Doc that you attach and read the uh, project uh, description. By putting the bulk of your instruction into a Google Doc that you attach to the assignment, it does uh, reduce the amount of real estate that it takes up in uh, the Google Classroom. You can uh, select the number of points this could be. It could be a 20-point project. If you're using a rubric, it could be a four-point project, however you want to do it. I'll just leave it <clears throat> at 20. Select your due date, of course. And of course, you want to do the topic. Since this is the Principles of Art project, I'm going to select the Principles of Art topic. As before, you can attach a file. You can import something from your Google Drive, which is how I'm going to do this. I believe I have a Principles of Art assignment set up. I can have the same options as before. So I can have students view the file, but they can only see the directions. I can have students edit the file, so they will all edit the same file. Or I can make a copy for each student that will automatically go into their Google Drive so they can each individually turn the assignment in. So depending on what it is that you want the students to do, um, that would be how you would make your decision. If they're going to do something offline, the easiest thing to do is to just have the students view the file. Again, you can schedule to appear later if you're getting this ready for um, the next day or you're just getting it ready to go for the future. You can just say when you want to have it. Just use a little drop down calendar app. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to click assign. And you can see it's been posted under Principles of Art. And as I mentioned before, the stream is automatically populated with an announcement saying that something has been posted into classwork. Uh, it will continue to add to your stream, uh, so any announcements that have been posted will again eventually be bumped down and not able to be seen easily. 
uh, one workaround would be to create an assignment that has no due date uh, and is ungraded and you can put it in side of the topic that you want it to be part of. And so using the topics is a really good way to keep everything organized. You can do units of study, you can do skills. So it's a really great way for you to um, keep your materials organized in Google Classroom.